Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing FTV1. And today, we're going to try to solve our metal problem. Um, all the metal is, since the update, it's processing into the FTV industrial contraptions stuff, which, uh, if we were to look at lead here, for example, um, <laughs> oh, I don't even see the ingot anymore. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> But if we look at this lead chunk here, um, we can we can craft it into raw lead blocks, I guess. Um, but uh, when it smelts, it smelts into this lead ingot from FTV Industrial Contraptions, which is conspicuous by its absence up here. Um, it doesn't appear to actually exist. We've been having trouble getting the mechanism versions to smelt, or the thermal versions, or really any, uh, any version at all that's, that's gonna work. But, uh, it hasn't, we have we haven't gotten it the easy way, so we're gonna have to start trying to get it the hard way. What we're gonna try first, um, is we're gonna make an enrichment chamber. So we're gonna need another osmium. I'll just run over here to the refined storage system. And we have a little bit of steel. I'm pretty sure we have glass. There we go. Now, these basic control circuits, um, I guess we're going to need one more osmium, aren't we? Um, oh, boy. Now, the advanced alloys we made in this machine last time were 1 to 1 ratio. This is a 2 to 1 ratio with the redstone. And sooner or later, we'll get our basic control circuits. There's all kinds of upgrades we can make for these machines, but uh, for the time being, they're, uh, they're just going to be what they are. Okay, here's our enrichment chamber, right? Now, what we should be able to do with this is turn, let's say, tin, and we'll get we'll get some some of the bane of our existence right now, some lead. If we throw this in here. We should get uh, two tin, something, some kind of dust, probably. Right there we go. Now we can smelt this up in FTV industrial contraptions. Okay, so what we're gonna try is the uh, the actual energized smelter from Mechanism. Let's see if the wandering trader has anything new while we're waiting for some more osmium. Okay, that's that's a sword. Um. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get a hold of that. That's a... You don't have any sticks? You're kidding me. <laughs> okay, we'll make some sticks. That's a heck of a sword. Here we go, and we'll take some emeralds. Where'd he go? There he is. Come here, you. Give me that sweet sword. So yeah, that's uh, doesn't have the sweeping edge that this one does, but uh, looting four and capturing three is also very nice. Um, looting four. That's, uh... Well, we have apotheosis now, don't we? Maybe looting four isn't that big a deal. After all, apotheosis adds all kinds of things, that, uh, including the uh, ability to enchant at higher levels than normal. We'll find villagers with higher level enchantments than normal and uh, all that sort of thing. But we've got ourselves... Uh, One does eleven point five. That's oh, it's because it's, it's because it's netherite. Um, there we go. Nice upgrade. 
Now last time we made ourselves a time in the bottle. Doesn't work on everything I'd expect it to, but it does work on the gin or miner. So, uh, you know, <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of time stored up, but we should be able to, uh, to get ourselves some osmium pretty quickly. Okay, let's see, uh, it shouldn't be too much harder than the enrichment chamber, right? Yep. There we go. So, we're gonna set this to, uh, eject on with the output over there on the right. That's just fine. Let's, uh, let's throw a little bit of lead in here and see what happens. Okay, good news. We got mechanism lead. That's... That is such a relief. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to... Let's see, everything's probably in here, isn't it? Um, we're going to get some pipes. We're going to get a couple barrels. I'm not even sure we need the barrels. We might be able to uh, go in directly. Let's see. Nah, it doesn't look like it, does it? <laughs> That's okay. It was worth checking. Well, anything we can do with the barrels these days? Okay, well, we can make create tanks. Fluid barrels. Don't ask me how this guy got in here. It's a, he, he's, he's the same guy. Or no, wait, no, he's a different guy. He's a different guy. Destructive stone pickaxe. He just appeared there, like right in front of my face in the basement. Well, we're gonna put this little setup uh, through its paces here. Um, it will eject directly into a barrel, one of these, but it won't, uh, you need to pipe it in, it won't draw directly from it. We are getting mechanism lead, and that's good, good news. Next thing I want to get into is a little bit of auto-crafting. We're gonna make, okay, we have different colors. We don't have the big ones, so I guess we don't have extra storage in this. So, we might end up thinking about digging a basement for the basement, but for the time being, we're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can't make crafter. We're going to need advanced, we're going to need a destruction core. And I'll bet that thing is this is actually, the construction cores and the advanced processors look very similar. Okay. One crafter. Very nice. We're also going to make the wrench from the mod. The wreck. That's not it at all. Uh, here it is. Now, it's important which way these face when they're hooked up to machines. When they're just out in the world like this, it's not really a big deal. Each crafter will hold nine recipes, or patterns. And you make the patterns in a pattern grid. So, we're just going to go ahead and make a grid first. And, you know, I, I actually shut off the pipes from the chickens. We have, like, we have 16,000 diamonds in this system. If we need more diamonds, we'll hook it back up. But, like, how much, uh, how, how many do we need access to at any given time? Um, pattern grid, we'll just need a pattern and another processor in addition to the grid we just made. So here we go. Now what you do with this thing, you don't craft in here, you set recipes up. We're gonna want um, some blank patterns. Oh, there's quite a number of things. Okay, this is what we're looking for. We'll make ourselves 25. That'll be a good start. Um, now let's say we wanted to automate the recipe for pattern. 
Well, we're not going to have this on exact. We want it to be able to use any kind of glass that's in there. Very good. But, uh... We don't have any quartz enriched iron. So we're going to want to teach this thing how to do that, too. And now, what we can do, if we wanted more patterns... You see, there's none in the system, but we have this craft button. We can hit 10. It'll make the quartz enriched iron, and then it'll make the patterns from it. It's pretty good. I switched the barrel out. For a ender chest, all three in cyan, so we can uh, we can send our our processed goodies right into the system. We finally got some tin happening, so we are gonna get back into thermal, um, where we tried to get to uh, the beginning of the last episode. We're gonna, we got all kinds of fancy machines that we can do different things with. Um, we're gonna want to start with uh, a good old-fashioned redstone furnace. So we're here in the pattern grid. We're gonna want a machine frame. We'll use a lot of these. And a tin gear. Now that we've got mechanism ingots, we're in, uh, we're in good shape with that. So let's go ahead and make the machine frame. There we go. I don't know if there's an advancement for it. Doesn't look like it. Now we're going to need a couple of... It's the wrong GUI. I do that all the time. <laughs> We're going to grab some copper gears. We're going to grab a redstone flux coil. And do we have any bricks in here? We don't. I bet I have some in here, though. Yep, we have quite a few. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here's our redstone furnace. Huzzah! We're gonna pop it down right here. And we're gonna get ourselves some cable. How much do we have? 19? That's a good amount. And we're also going to teach this thing how to make a crafter all these different parts. So we'll also have to teach it the machine casing. We're going to have to teach it construction cores. Going to have to te teach it destruction cores. Throw all that in there. I hope we get uh, extra storage. <laughs> Here we go. Here's another crafter. Fancy. Let's, uh, whoops. I got more inventory. <laughs> Barely know what's going on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run cable. I'm gonna set this thing to make another crafter because we're gonna need it. I'll run the cable right along the ceiling. It's going to come right down to there, and it's also going to come down here. Now we should have our crafter. We're going to pop this right on top, and that's exactly the direction we want it pointing. So it's kind of like an arrow pointing down. We are also going to teach this thing, because we're going to need a lot of these. Um, we're going to teach this thing how to make an importer. That's an ME import bus. There it is. Barely see it. Uh, we might as well teach it how to do cable. Here we go. 
And let's, oh, my mouse is going bananas. Let's make an importer. So an importer, unsurprisingly, will uh, allow you to import things into your system. And you want it so the flat side is facing whatever you're trying to you know, do your importing with. So we've got a configuration tab over here. We're going to turn on auto input and output. We're going to set input on the top here. That's where the crafter is. We're going to set the output on the bottom. I'm going to come right back over here. We use a lot of processors. Uh, so we're going to want recipes for them and all of their pieces. So here's the raw basic. Here's the raw gold, here's the raw diamond, and also we're going to make recipes for their smelted version. What you do is it's this to this, this side to this side, and you've got your processing checked. In case you ever have to do this manually, you want processing checked. So we'll do a basic processor, an improved processor and an advanced processor. And these guys will go in here. And the ones for the, the smelting will go right in the crafter above the energized smelter. So now let's say we need basic processors, which we almost certainly do. We can just craft up a whole stack of them. If we had string, I guess. So let's... Uh, Empty the occultism storage system of string. There we go. Alright, let's make a stack of basic processors. Now what we'll see as it crafts up the stuff to be smelted, it's just gonna put it right in here and it's gonna go right into the system because of the importer. Now it doesn't matter. We have this hooked up to a crafting grid. That doesn't matter. It can be hooked up to any piece of the system. Um, as long as it connects, it's part of the same refined storage system. Now if we're going to be making thermal machines, we're going to be making a lot of gears. So let's go back. We Well, we don't really even need to go. I know what it's called this time. Um, we're going to need to make a multi-servo press. So we're going to go ahead and make a machine frame. We're also going to need some constantin. Okay. So for constantin, we're going to want an alloy smelter. Also uses a machine frame. We're going to need some invar, which, uh, okay, okay. A little bit of a rabbit hole here. Do we have any invar? No, we haven't had uh, any reason to have it yet. Um, I think in here we have a little bit of nickel. Yeah. We're going to take three nickel, four nickel. And we're going to take eight iron. We're going to come on over here. We're going to make another engineer's hammer because the other one is completely trashed. Um, we don't have any sticks. We have no sticks. Got sticks now. Okay, here we go. We're going to get a bunch of nickel grit, a bunch of iron dust. Invar blend. Two iron to one nickel. Okay, we got our invar. We can make ourselves an alloy smelter. The alloy smelter, perhaps unsurprisingly, is used to make alloys. Um, we can make invar directly in it once we've got it. It's also what we're going to use to make whatever it was, the constantin or the signalum. Um, 
I honestly forget. So let's get, uh, oh, we don't have any cobblestone in our system. So we can correct that pretty easily. Whoops. Hey. There we go. I can go ahead and make ourselves a furnace. I can almost guarantee we don't have smooth stone. Um, this is how we're going to get everything out of here. It's just as we're looking for it. All right. Okay, one blast furnace. One induction smelter. And we have another crafter. And we're going to need another importer. Should only take a sec. Now, we don't need more cables connecting the, uh, the crafters and whatnot. It's just like this over here. As long as they're touching, it's, uh, it's fine. So we'll get this and this. There we go. We'll set once again. Auto input enabled. We got input and output. Wonderful. So right back here. Um, what we wanted to make was a multi-servo press. And we're going to need... <clears throat> okay, bronze and Constantin. So we'll come over here. Really? Really? There's no, uh, there's no alloy smelter recipe for the, the bronze. There is a metallurgic infuser recipe for it. So, we should have this hooked up to the system anyway. I'll make a crafter and an importer. Now with thermal, you got to make sure you're, uh, or with thermal, with mechanism, also with thermal for that matter, um, you've got to make sure that you're shutting everything off to the sides. <laughs> All right, we got output down below, and we're going to want eject on. Very good. So I guess the other thing we're going to need is... Uh, is tin tin dust was it let's see we got uh yeah tin dust from mechanism which we could make in a crusher or in a pulverizer we're kind of looking at thermal right now so let's make a pulverizer um, a pulverizer will do the same thing for you, like a pulverizer and a redstone furnace, as this little setup right here. Now, mechanism, you can increase this to, like, five ingots an ore. Thermal, you can, you can get up to three, basically. Um, we'll be using mechanism for the, the high volume ore processing, but thermal's great. We're going to use as much of it as we can, so... We got our pulverizer. Wonderful. So we're going to need another redstone flux coil. We're going to need some copper gears. And a piston. What do you want to bet? Oh, we have sticky pistons. We'll make a, a recipe for pistons here. We will certainly use them. All right. Oh, it doesn't have the, okay. Let's go ahead now, since that wasn't on exact, like this wasn't checked, this should work. We're gonna teach this thing how to make oak planks. And now, shouldn't have any problem making a piston for us. There we go. 
one pulverizer. Okay, so we'll teach this, uh, the pulverizer, how to make the tin. All right, we got the bronze dust. We'll need the tin dust. Pulverizer, pulverizer, pulverizer. Here we go. And then we've got for the bronze, we've got our uh, our metallurgic confused. Oh, that's probably not going to work correctly, is it? Well, maybe it will. Who knows? Um, no, that's not really going to. It's not really going to work. All right. So what will work, though, um, will be some copper dust, which we can teach our pulverizer how to make. And then we can do a regular crafting recipe for bronze dust. And then finally, bronze ingots. Now, Constantin, it looks like we're using the, uh, the immersive engineering. Um, we can use the blend. Yeah, it looks like that alloy smelter might not end up doing too much for us. Um, that's okay. Nickel and copper. Okay, so we'll teach it Constantin grit. And for nickel grit... Oh boy, we will need, boy, it's not making this easy, is it? Okay, well, a crusher we can do. Um, we'll just need a steel, we'll do it over here. Let's look up crusher. We're going to end up with so many machines after today. <laughs> That's the crushing factory. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and make this. Have any lava on us? How about buckets? We got a couple buckets. And we'll just throw these into the system. Oh, we're going to need that. Let me make those circuits. Okay, one crusher. Now, before we get too involved in, uh, in Constantin, um, I want to make another grid. I want to make a, well, I want to make a monitor is what I want. Um, let's see if I can spot it. There's the crafting grid. Crafting monitor. Exactly what we want. So we we'll want a machine casing, two patterns. Okay. Should be easy enough. Andesite. The andesite? What's wrong with regular stone? Let's see. So, uncheck that. We're going to put this right back in here. Okay, machine frame. Glass, iron nugget. That's the wrong, that's the wrong machine frame. Machine casing, that's what we're looking for. Okay. Yeah, stone. Ah, oh, we don't have any. Okay. Well, that explains that. Um, we can go ahead and teach it how to make it, though. Alright, there it is. One crafting monitor. I'm going to throw that right down there. So, let's say we want to make... Oh, we also need a... We also need something for the ingots, don't we? Uh, a Constantin ingot. Well, that kind of Constantin blend. Um, I taught it how to make this kind. What do we do with this stuff? Oh, we smelt it into Constantin. Okay. That is the wrong gooey. Now this looks I don't know why I don't see the the ingot up here. I got a funny feeling. Um Oh now look at that. There's oh it's it's the blend. Okay, yeah. 
So let's go back. The induction smelter, it says, will give us the ingot, but we're making this, huh? I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm a little, I'm, I'm like, about, uh, you know, if I'm not seeing the ingot, that might be another situation, like with the FTV industrial contraptions ingots, which turned out to be not too hard to get around. And I'm sure there will be a fix for that, but hopefully, you know, quite soon. Now, I got a whole stack of crafters here now. And uh, what we're going to want to make is a crafter manager. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we'll need one more crafter. Alright. Very good. We're going to want, okay, two advanced processors. And we're going to need a machine casing. Machine casing. Let that make itself. Now, if you're waiting on a recipe, um, it will just wait. Like, right now, we've, we're turning a Eulorium dust into Eulorium. We had to take the FTV uranium out of here manually. Um, it doesn't work <laughs> anymore. So, yeah, this is... Anything you've got FTB ingots in right now, just to just get rid of it. And yeah, you can have multiple recipes and multiple machines all going at the same time. I'm gonna crush her over here. Starting to look, uh, starting to look a bit like tech mods down here. And here we go. Now what this block allows us to do is get it all of our, you know, we've got just regular crafters, we've got our redstone furnace, our induction smelter, pulverizer, we can do it all right here. Now, I would like to upgrade some of these machines and make them bigger, stronger, faster, blah, blah, blah. Um, we're going to do the thermal ones. We're going to want something called integral components, right? So the hardened ones, oh, but before we do that, of course, we should finally, have I forgot about the multi-servo press and all the excitement, um, here we go, we can make our Constantin gears, no, we don't want, we don't want a recipe for them yet, um, there we go, and we'll need a machine frame, Nice. And, oh, we still need bronze, don't we? Um, and ourselves two bronze. There we go. Another watering trader. <laughs> so, the multi servo press. Um, we're probably going to want at least two of them. One of them. We're going to want to use for plates, but one of them we're definitely going to want to use for gears. Now we're going to need uh, something, I forget exactly what it's called, but if I gear cast maybe? Yeah, gear working die. So we'll need a diamond gear. Throw that in there. And uh, we're going to need, we're going to need in bar plates. So let's go ahead and uh, first let's see if we have a decent, okay we do, there is a decent, oh I'm in the wrong GUI, there is a decent Invar recipe. So let's deal with that. And since we've got one multi-servo press, um, we might as well use the other one for plates. Without uh, without a die, huh? the multi servo press. I'm in the wrong GUI. The multi servo press will make you plates. Huh? There we go. So we'll set this thing up to make us four of our plates. Huh? Throw that in there. We're gonna need 
Diamond gear. I'll use one of the thermal ones. Just skip right here. It is. There we go. And oh. here we go. Gear work and die. Now we're gonna make another multi servo press. Okay, now hopefully the die won't suck right out of there. Now we were to uh, teach this thing how to make copper gears, right? Here's what we'd want to do. We select the gear, we come over to the multi servo press recipe, we take this right out by shift clicking. Create the recipe without it. Throw it right in here. I could have used the uh, the crafter manager, huh? And now, if we wanted to make copper gears, it'll go ahead and do it for us. Shouldn't take very long at all. That's already done. Okay, but we were gonna do integral components. That'll That'll be a good way to wrap up the episode here, I think. I think we finally have everything we need. <laughs> so, this one we've got... Uh, we're going to want to teach this thing how to make gold here. Um, here we go. Get rid of that. Now we'll come over to our crafter manager. And we want this multi-servo press. And you see it puts the two together because it's the same machine with the same name. So, you know, keep that in mind. Now, I don't have a recipe for the, uh, the integral components themselves yet. No. Okay. So, we'll go ahead. We'll take care of that. That's the first tier. Second tier uses the first tier. We're also going to need some signalum. And let's see. Okay, there is an induction smelter recipe for signalum. That's good. Now, Electrum, we could do with, uh, with Electrum. It looks like we're going to have to make uh, Electrum grit with some gold dust that we can make in the crusher. Let's hop up here. We'll go to the crusher. There we go. And we're also going to want silver dust, which we could make in the pulverizer. There we go. Let's get some more patterns. Let's make a stack. Why not? Um... That's another, here we go, another pulverizer recipe. And then the electrum grid itself is regular crafting recipe. And then this stuff is a processing recipe which we'll put in the redstone furnace. So. Here we go. You see, we're probably going to need another redstone furnace. That's okay. We'll make as, uh, as many of them as we need to make. We got you know, plenty of power over here. So, we're going to want to make this recipe, right? Does this recognize that Electrum is a thing it can... Oh, no. It's going to make... The wrong kind of electrum, isn't it? Okay, okay. Okay, polymorph works here, so we can get the electrum grit. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see. Yeah, just it only wants to 
No Electrum Blend, huh? Uh -huh. Well. Alright, could be worse. Okay, let's let's make the first tier, just for now. Um, make sure we're not missing anything, make sure we can actually do it. So this will basically, like, double the speed, energy, capacity, so on, of uh, any given thermal machine. So let's, uh, let's throw it in here. Right now, we can see that's going about that fast. We throw this in here we can see it speeds up significantly and has a uh, more energy capacity is generally better right we'll put it back in the next tier uses the previous tier oh we've got to teach it how to make signal and gears it uses the previous tier but uh you know it's uh, it's three times is good and then there's a fourth tier which is four times as good. And there's other upgrades that we can add that will make them even better. Now the fourth tier is a bit of a rabbit hole. You will need some hardened glass, um, you know, quartz, obsidian, and some sand. We're also going to need some endarium. Now this stuff is just like so. Two under pearls, three lead, and diamond dust, which we're gonna get out of our pulverizer here. Now the last thing we're gonna need are some lumium gears. Lumium is another thermal material. We can make it directly. It's uh, silver, tin, and glowstone. Let me just throw all these in here. Probably get rid of that at some point. Um, here's Lumion. And here's the gear. So let's see if we can make three of these resonant components. That will quadruple the, uh, the effectiveness and so on of our thermal machine. Okay, we got them. This is gonna make all these machines so much faster. <laughs> Put one in there, one in there, one in there, one in there. And now, if we were to come over here with some Eulorium dust, just something to smelt, throw it in here. And you can see that that trucks right along. Now we've got more slots that we can upgrade, and the, the multipliers are additive. So you want these integral components. They're, uh, they're very important. And I think that's going to about do it for this time, folks. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.